Hello, I'm Joe Way, and this is Sierra Specialty Auto. Welcome to the shop. I have not been able to make any machining videos for a month. I'm still in a sling as a result of rotator cuff surgery, and it's going to be at least another two weeks before I get out of it. And and uh, we'll be able to uh, to get back onto the machines but I didn't want to wait two weeks to share all of the uh, stickers I have received and as youtubers are inclined to do I have been communicating with fellow creators old and new and I've been uh, accumulating quite a few stickers I'd like to show them off uh, to add a little machining content of some sort to this video, uh, I'm going to show a couple of the more specialized tools that I have used in a couple of my videos uh, and had questions about. People commented or emailed asking me uh, about the, the tools I was using. So I'm going to get those out and uh, show uh, though the uh, the use and function of uh, of a, a couple of my more specialized tools, so let's uh, move over to the roll around cart and take a look at envelopes and other goodies. Sorry about the heater noise in the background, as Mr. Pete would call it. My spike heater is on. Uh, my first box is from Jim Deadman at Saw Logs Plastic Hubs. Uh, Jim sent me, in addition to a couple of stickers, he sent me one of his great oil dispensers, oil uh, spill-proof oil bottles. Uh, I, I couldn't wait to come out and put, put some cutting oil in it, so I've, I've got this ready to go. Jim sent me a brush to go with it. I'm all set for that. Uh, Jim, I really appreciate that. That's, that, 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 that was a very thoughtful uh, and, and very much appreciated. And here's a nice note uh, from from uh, from Jim and a couple of his uh, saw logs, plastic hubs, uh, channel stickers. So again, Jim, thank you very much. And uh, by the way, I will put links to all of these channels uh, and in one case Instagram account. I will put links to all of these in the description. Uh, so uh, if you have not if you are not subscribing or watching any of these people and you are watching me you'd probably be very interested maybe even more interested in their content uh, than in mine so I, I strongly recommend that that you go down to the description and uh, click on some of these links if you haven't already been there uh, here's stickers from Doug Lester at Metalworks Machine Shop in Greenville, Ohio, uh, three of them there. Uh, those are nice stickers. Metalworks Machine Shop. Go check out Doug. Uh, he's uh, got a, among other things, a 79 Trans Am, I believe, uh, that he shows on occasion. Uh, good channel to watch. Here's from uh, Hilltop Machine in, where are you, Tom? You're in Mint Hill, North Carolina. Tom Knopp from Hilltop Machine Works, uh, another good channel to watch. He just finished working on a, a refurbishing a surface grinder, uh, which is uh, of great interest to me. Uh, that's uh, probably number one on my wish list of uh, machine tools that I don't have. Love to have a surface grinder. Randy Richard, I sent him a couple of my stickers. Uh, and what did I get back from Randy? I got back a basket full, an envelope full of stickers. But some of these people uh, I've already subscribed to. In a couple of cases, I already have their stickers. Uh, I do not have one of Emma's uh, older stickers. Uh, she sent me a newer one, which I have posted on my board. Uh, I'm going to add this to it, Emma's Spare Room Machine Shop. She does neat stuff. Shark River Machine. 
Randy sent me. This was the first sticker uh, that I got from another YouTube creator, Steve Lang. Uh, he's in, I uh, believe in, are you in North Carolina, Steve? Uh, Shark River Machine, Steve does, uh, among other things, uh, uh, precision ground oil stones. Uh, I need to buy a pair from him. I think he's back ordered, but I need to talk to him. Here's Phil's project, projects and Pierre's garage. Uh, these are two of the three monkeys in uh, Canada, in Toronto. Uh, these were the second and third stickers I got. Uh, these guys are great fun uh, to watch. Uh, Phil has a Graziano lathe. A uh, good friend of, mach of mine here in Quincy, Machinist friend, has uh, two of the SAG-12 uh, lathes, uh, I believe, uh, essentially identical to Phil's. And Pierre's got all kinds of stuff. He's, he does uh, great uh, instructional videos. He's a very good teacher and does some really neat stuff. Keith Fenner. Walk the talk. I have not communicated with Keith yet. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I've got a project in mind for a shop tool uh, that I want to send to uh, Keith, and I had planned to request stickers from him and send him mine uh, at the time that I do that project, which will be uh, be a while yet. I got to get out of this sling. Uh, Turn right machine works. Great channel very instructional uh, and, and uh, great fun to watch. This one was a new one for me, Big Gator Tools. Uh, he, he makes he makes tools. I, I, uh, I'm sorry to say I have not closely investigated this. He doesn't have much in the way of videos, uh, but he does make some specialized machine tools. Uh, and, and again, description will be, or the uh, uh, link will be in the description. And of course, the uh, machine works now. Me promoting somebody like uh, Keith Rucker at Vintage Machine Works is like somebody carrying coals to Newcastle. If you're uh, younger than baby boomer age, you may have to go look that up. Uh, but I watched a Keith Rucker video last night. Uh, he's a very good teacher does very nice stuff, got a very nice shop. I know all you guys have been there already. Stan, I won't pronounce this right, Zinkowski, Bar Z Industrial, uh, host of the ever famous Bar Z Summer Bash coming up on June 22nd. Uh, I had really hoped to try to get to that but I have another uh, family-related obligation uh, that my wife tells me is going to take precedence, so I'm not going to make that this year. This was another new one for me, Inspiration Metal Works. He makes, he makes inspirational metal work. Uh, another good one to check on. Do Right Fabrication. Uh, Jim Bollinger. He's a welder and fabricator. Uh, great fun to watch his channel. Tools for Machines. This was another new one for me. I had to go look his channel up and subscribe to that, and you should too. Ray's Garage. I had not been there and had to go look his channel up. Uh, he just finished a restoration on a, a Wilton Vice, a three and a half inch vice. Uh, very nice work. Uh, and uh, I'll be back into his channel to watch some more of his uh, uh, videos. He does some good stuff. Tactical keychains. Uh, this guy makes uh, uh, the knives built into keychains, a little, uh, couple inches long, about the size of a USB drive. Uh, uh, very uh, uh, creative and pretty work. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you get by uh, security at the airport with them, but uh, they look they look almost like a USB drive. Uh, Bruce Witham in Perth, Australia, G Gemtrack Engineering Services. He's the getter out guy. Uh, he uh, posts frequently to the YouTube Machinist Group, which is run by John Creasy in Australia, John Creasy and Emma Ritson. Uh, so I, I look at uh, 
Bruce's posts in YouTube Machinist Group uh, very frequently. So, Randy, Richard, thank you very much. Uh, where's Randy's sticker? Where's oh, I gotta go get? I gotta go get Randy's sticker. Hang on a minute. There we go. I had Randy's uh, sticker stuck into a different envelope. There's Randy Richard in the shop, and he sent me also this neat uh, brass tag uh, engraved. Uh, again, with this pattern, Randy Richard in the shop, the text, uh, key tag, or, or, uh, or such. Uh, uh, Randy, thanks very much. Uh, the, the very generous and, and uh, uh, amazing haul of stickers that would take me a while. Now I debated with myself whether I should uh, uh, whether, whether I should feel guilty about putting up stickers from people that I did not communicate with personally. And I decided that as long as I am subscribed to their channel or following their Instagram account, uh, that that would be a valid uh, excuse, a good, uh, a good justification uh, for displaying those stickers. Uh, and then when I got this envelope from uh, Tom Lipton at Ox Tools in Benicia, California, he did the same thing. By golly, uh, there's a bunch of them. He's got uh, three of his own stickers. Uh, and again, <laughs> Me giving a shout out to to Tom Lipton is uh, again like carrying coals to Newcastle. Uh, so here's here's one of these stickers. I think this originates from uh, uh, from John Creasy from the YouTube Machinist Group. So I'll put this up like this. Huh? What? Get, oh, uh, oh, whoops. Let's do it like that. Okay. I heard you all the way from here. No, really, I heard. Uh, I saw the comments on uh, uh, Steve Lang's channel when he put Tasmania on top on his sticker board. Uh, I'll be sure to put Tasmania uh, down south where it goes. We've got Silver Ripples, Hattie Maddie. Now this is uh, an Instagram channel. Uh, another creator that, 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 that makes neat stuff and puts it on Instagram. Uh, here's Tom's uh, card so to speak. Have hammer will travel wire ox tool San Francisco who remembers Paladin. Uh, have gun will travel. Uh, again uh, we're dating ourselves Tom. And we have a YouTube machinist Facebook group sticker and I've been a member of that for a while. Uh, John Creasy and Emma Ritson uh, run that group. Uh, and do a great job and it's uh, uh, a lot of fun to keep up with what people are doing on there. And uh, outside Screwball, uh, this is uh, uh, Chuck Bomarito. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, he's uh, in the Bay Area. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, I, I know where but I can't remember. Uh, and I subscribe to his channel and, and watch his videos regularly. So, wow, this is just this is just a great haul. I, I'm looking forward to getting all these up on the board. Uh, speaking of the board, here's my sticker board as it stands now. For now I have these installed with double side tape because I'm not positive that this is my final sticker board solution and I want to be able to uh, get them off if I need to, if I decide to do something different. But they're there securely, they'll stay there and I'll get all these others up and we'll show a picture of that at the end of the video. Here is my first set of special tools. These are, I call them guided tap wrenches. Uh, this one I just recently got from McMaster uh, from MSC. This is made by LFA Industries. It's a tap wrench with guide. Uh, zero to uh, 
one quarter inch and I'll put a link to the item numbers in the MSE catalog for these wrenches. Uh, again, this was one I, I just acquired recently, uh, zero to uh, one quarter, and you put this part in your drill chuck in the drill press or milling machine, whatever you have set up, uh, and you guide the tap with, with the, uh, let me get that in the picture, uh, the spindle of the milling machine uh, will hold the tap vertical and in position over your hole and then you rotate pulling the quill down as necessary to keep the, the uh, telescoping feature engaged. Uh, here's the next size, this is quarter to half inch works the same way and the big one a half inch to three quarter and that is a three quarter tap that's a three quarter twenty uh, special thread tap that I used to use uh, in my business that's a common size in brake cylinders so uh, for those uh, people who were wondering about that tool uh, this this is what they look like and I'll uh, swing the camera around and uh, put one of these in the milling machine and show how that looks. Let's assume that this hole in the T-slot cleaner is one that I have just drilled and the mill is in position centered over that hole. Now I want to tap it. Uh, this is a 5 16 fine tap. Just bring that down like so and tap the hole. Uh, just as simple as that. The quill is already centered over the hole. Uh, this uh, uh, holder holds the tap uh, vertical and centered and uh, gu guides it in. If it's a deep hole you may need to follow it with the quill because there is only uh, what on this one there's five eighths of an inch of engagement uh, on, the, on the guide uh, so that's it's just as simple as that. Uh, very handy tool. Uh, I prefer this tool to the spring-loaded tap guide. Uh, I do have uh, one of those and, and it does come in pretty handy. Uh, but this tap for instance, where are we? Come on. See if I can get my gimpy hand up here. This tap does not have a center drill on the end so you cannot use a tap guide uh, a spring loaded tap guide with this uh, a tool like this is uh, not the only alternative but certainly one of the best as far as I'm concerned I use these all the time here is my second featured specialty tool this is a Mayhew hollow punch set uh, this particular set is their number 66002. Uh, these are made in France. Uh, these are uh, uh, ne nesting, or they call them paired punches. Uh, you can set this up with uh, uh, punches of different size on this mandrel. Uh, if I wanted, say, <clears throat> a gasket uh, with a one inch ID and an inch and a half OD. I would select those sizes, mount them on the mandrel, and use, uh, usually use a hammer as a striking tool on, on a, a cutting uh, board, a cutting sheet, and that would give me a, a gasket inch and a half by one inch. If you're doing small holes, uh, you start you lose the uh, nesting feature, uh, but up to five eighths. Uh, well, no, you don't actually. You can screw that directly into the tip of the of the uh, arbor. And now, if I <laughs> if I were to choose to do that, where'd that go? 
Ah, I got that in the wrong order. You, this, this is also thread. You, you can use these singly uh, for the smaller sizes right straight onto uh, the, uh, I'm going to call this the arbor. If I wanted, what do I have, a 3 ace ID gasket by 3 quarter OD, I would set it up like that and that would give me that combination. So let's move over. Uh, I can't really do this right now with my uh, arm in a sling. Uh, I, I can't swing a hammer, uh, but I'm going to take this over to the arbor press and see if we can get it to cut some gaskets. So I'll set the camera back up over at the arbor press and meet you there. I have a, a piece of 1 16th inch thick EPDM rubber sheet here. Let's see if I can get a, a, uh, a 3 8 by 3 quarter gasket out of that using the arbor press. Uh, this is just a sheet of masonite as a sacrificial cutting surface. And there we go. There's a gasket, rubber, EPDM rubber gasket. Uh, very nice, uh, very true, uh, well centered, three eighths by uh, three quarter. Just as simple as that. If you need a bunch of them, you can do these lickety split. One, two, three. Let's set up for another size. Now I have a piece of Garlock gasket material, uh, 35 thousandths thick. This is the sort of material that would be used for, uh, say, a gas cap gasket or a radiator cap gasket. Uh, I used to make these, well, I still do for, uh, for Model A uh, fuel caps and radiator caps. So let's get this in here. Again, I'm basically one-handed here because of my arm being in a sling. I'll see if I can make this work. Did not quite get it. When you're doing it with a hammer you can you can rock it around and follow it with the hammer in that manner. Uh, doing it like this, I'm having to get all the pressure on uh, in a, a di with a different motion. Might be nice to have a larger press. There we go, that almost got it. Let me hit that one side a little bit harder. We didn't quite get all of it. Again, I apologize for this. It's awkward for me uh, again because of the uh, of the sling. But there we go. That <clears throat> that cut it. And again, uh, assuming that would be the size gasket you need, uh, there's a perfect uh, inch by inch and a half gasket. Let's try it one more time on some uh, quarter inch uh, uh, foam rubber. See how that works. It would help if the substrate here were a little softer. If it were uh, some of that green uh, cutting material. Almost got it. Again, I need a little a little more on, on that side. There we go. Well, I, I had to tear that last little bit again uh, because of the. Uh, it's awkward for me. Uh, but there you go. That's that's what you get. 
uh, and th this, if you cut a lot of gaskets, uh, th this is a fantastic tool. They are pricey. Uh, again, I'll put a link to the, uh, the set in the uh, description. But if you do this, if you do enough of this kind of thing, uh, they are invaluable. They, they, they just, you just can't beat them. And I have made uh, some custom punches to go with them in, in different sizes. They don't fit on the mandrel, uh, so I have to register them in a different manner. Uh, but I've been able to do, uh, for instance, one size I do is 2 inch ID by 2 and 3 quarter OD. And I made a registration plug to go between the 2 inch and the uh, 2 and 3 quarter uh, one, the, the cutter that, that I made out of brass tube. Uh, I use it very rarely, so uh, the sharp edge on the brass tube holds up well enough uh, to, to suit my purposes. But this is just a, an incredibly useful tool if you do a lot of gaskets. Well, there you have it. A uh, good look at my new sticker haul and a look at a couple of the specialty tools uh, that were of great use to me uh, in when I had my business restoring brake cylinders for people with old cars. I hope you'll comment. I hope you'll subscribe. I hope you'll come back and visit the shop again. And I'm going to get my wife to come out here and help me post these stickers. A little awkward for me right now with the sling on. When we get them up on the board, I'll take a picture and we'll put that uh, right after this. Thank you for watching. Here's my sticker board freshly updated by my patient wife. Uh, this looks pretty good for a new guy. I'm kind of impressed with myself. We had one omission at the beginning there, I had Steve Summers' envelope uh, underneath some other stuff, and I missed uh, giving him his channel a shout out. Uh, Steve just acquired a couple of uh, new tools. Uh, one of them is a surface grinder that I sure wish I had, number one on my list of uh, desired machine tools. Thanks, Steve. Uh, Steve and I have communicated by email on uh, a couple of issues, uh, mainly microphones. Uh, I appreciate his input. Uh, be sure to check out Steve Summers. And again, uh, links to all of these channels and uh, in one case, uh, Instagram account uh, will be in the description. Thanks again for watching. These are the Sierra Buttes in Sierra County, Northern California, in the Lakes Basin area. Uh, these are uh, about an hour drive from our house, uh, maybe 45 miles. If you look closely, you can see the Forest Service Fire Lookout built in 1915. Uh, this is at an elevation of about 8,590 feet.